want to fly give up everything that weighs you down namaskaram this is kapil from ehs academy and welcome to another video guys in today's video we are going to discuss if you want to access any sort of nfps course and standards maybe nfpa 1 nfpa 10 12e 12e 12r anything it may be anything if you want to access them freely just for the reading purpose not for the print out and downloading purpose then how you can do it by visiting on nfp website i will show you each and everything live on the screen okay so without wasting any single second let's get straight to the video okay fine guys so here you can see google just type here nfpa what is that nfpa national fire protection association type here and search it when you will search it the interface will be in such sort of way you can see here nfpa nfpa.org click on that when you will click uh, the interface will be in such sort of way okay fine now see here guys in this section in this side one okay you can see three dotted lines are there three horizontal lines are there just click on them okay you will get another options here you need to click on the first one that is course and standards click on that fine after clicking on course and standard just scroll that okay and now see here in this side free access in the last one you can see here handbooks translated products and free access click on the free access fine after clicking on the free access it will the interface will be in such sort of way so just scroll that and after that you can see here to review course and standards online first option that is called blue option you can see here one blue line is there view the list of nfp course and standards okay this one option you need to click after clicking on that the standard interface will be in such sort of way you will get all the course whatever nfp have course and standards list here but before accessing these course and standards i want to tell you one thing that is if you are accessing them these are actually copyrighted material you don't need to download them you don't need allow to any sort of take screenshots and take the print out you just need to reference that if you just want to read you can read it no downloading and all if you found downloading and using this particular material commercially then there will be some strict actions on you okay so now what you need to do is here you have a list of full of them now what you need to do for example i want to access here nfp 11 standard for low medium and high expansion form so just i will click on nfp 11 okay after some time it will be open in such sort of way see so here they have opened the nfpa 11 in front of me so here one option is there that is called free access i hope you can see here so click on that free access when you will click on that it will ask you see here here you can see select the free access edition it means which edition you want to access okay uh, so i want to access 2016 english edition i will click on that view okay now it will take some time to load so after loading it will tell you to sign in or create your profile now here is the problem a lot of people got mistaken here it means till now they they can do these things but here you they will get the problem for example in my case i'll show you just here they will ask your id and password so if you are a new member like if you are visiting to nfpa first time or uh, you don't you haven't created any sort of nfpa account then you need you need to create it okay how you can create see here uh, you can see here not registered with the nfpa create a profile just click on that it's very easy to create one account with nfpa okay i'll show you because i have personally created the account we'll show you how you can create so see here it will ask you this type of information you can see here login information first of all you need to put your email address any email address you can give uh, uh, okay after that you need to make one password special character password you need to give your first name last name industry you can give any sort of industry like if you are a uh, from any industry you have you can give job function any sort of student you can write it here so th uh, this particular information you need to fill here you can see here okay after clicking on that there you can see one option that is called content preferences what is that content preferences so if you want to receive emails from nfpa with regards to their new course and standards any sort of publications and all you can click on them otherwise you can leave them also okay that's not i should afterwards nfpa topics of interest you can see here electrical public education wildlife it means out of these topics if you are interested you can click on them okay after that you need to click on register which is shown on the last side when you click on the register there will you will receive an email okay from nfpa whatever the email id you have installed here in this section this section see in the top section whatever email id you have registered you have installed here one email you will get so when you got that email you need to confirm that it means one confirm option will be there there a blue color confirm option will be there you need to confirm it after confirming your email and 
ID password is there that you can apply on that onto that function where, uh, where we have leave that so I'll show you just now see so here so just give me a second let me put my ID in password and after that I'll open the NFP 11 okay so just give me a time so after sign in see you can clearly see it my standard is open okay what we have selected NFP 11 standard for the low medium and high expansion form it is fully open 2016 edition okay and one more thing you can see here free access it means uh, you are not allowed to take any sort of screenshot you are not allowed to download it okay because it is licensed it is copyrighted material okay so now you can see here this full standard is open you can just read that and enhance your knowledge by utilizing it just i'll show you just a minute see administration reference publications definitions everything is given you just need to read that okay just don't try to keep all the standards in your mind because it is very difficult so just to uh, learn the new concept just to grab the new concept you can utilize this particular material okay it is very very useful okay like any anything you want to access you can study from so guys this was the full video it means i hope you understood how you can access this material and uh, utilize it for your knowledge enhancing purpose okay but before closing this video i want to make th one thing clear that do not do any sort of unnecessary thing like taking screenshot uh, taking the printout of this material because it is copyrighted material okay so i hope you got that full video you understood how to access them freely what you need to do so if you found this video useful informative try to like this video share this video and subscribe to this channel i'll meet you in the next video till then take care